Are you brushing your teeth all wrong? Do you know there's simple solutions to getting rid of dental plaque forever? Stay tuned because I'm going to show you exactly how. Hey everyone, it's Dr. Mamina here. I'm a triple board certified doctor of internal medicine and dermatology, and I'm also a mom. So I understand the struggle of balancing a busy life with prioritizing your health. If you're new to this channel, I hope you all like and subscribe, but also let me know in the comments other ideas you want me to explore. Ask me anything. Okay, so today we are diving deep into something we all think we know about, dental plaque. But I'm here to tell you that most of what you've heard is wrong. We're going to uncover the shocking truth about plaque, why it's so persistent, and the real way to achieve a healthy, radiant smile. Did you also know that a healthy oral biome can have a tremendous impact on your overall health? Yeah, like the billions or trillions of organisms that live in our mouth play a huge role with all that. So we've all heard of plaque. It's that fuzzy feeling on your teeth, right? But it's so much more than just leftover food particles. Plaque is a complex biofilm. So it's like a sticky microscopic community of microbes encased in a self-made calcium igloo, if you will. Think of it as a fortified city for bacteria, constantly growing and evolving. And here's the kicker. You can brush and floss religiously and still have plaque buildup. Why? Because the environment in your mouth is incredibly complex. Your mouth is home to the second largest and most diverse community of microbes in your body, second only to your gut. We're talking hundreds, even thousands of different species. This is your oral microbiome and it's a delicate ecosystem. Most of these microbes are commensal, meaning they're just hanging out, neither harming nor significantly benefiting us. They're like the quiet neighbors in your mouth. But when this balance is disrupted, things can go south real quick. When the environment changes, these commensal microbes can become pathogenic, meaning they can start causing problems. They become the bad neighbors. This shift leads to plaque formation, gingivitis, which is gum inflammation, bad breath, also known as halitosis, and ultimately tooth decay, like cavities. So what throws this delicate balance off? Think of it like stressing out your microbial neighbors. Several factors can contribute. A diet high in sugar is a major culprit as it provides fuel for the bad bacteria. Smoking, alcohol consumption, and even certain medications like antibiotics, of course, can also disrupt the microbiome. But here's the real bombshell. Common oral hygiene practices like using certain mouthwashes and even long-standing recommendations of fluoride might be doing more harm than good. Let's talk about chlorhexidine. So this is a common ingredient in many mouthwashes. While it can kill some bacteria, it also disrupts the overall balance of the oral microbiome and can even contribute to increased acidity in the mouth, potentially increasing the risk of tooth decay. So according to a study done in Scientific Reports, which is part of Nature Research, the use of chlorhexidine after seven days created a more acidic pH in the mouth. And as we know, an acidic environment puts your teeth at higher risk for decay or cavities. Okay, now what about fluoride? I feel like this can be kind of a controversial subject. It's been a cornerstone of dental health for decades, but the fluoride added to our water supply is a different beast altogether. It's not the pharmaceutical grade fluoride that's used in dental offices. It's a byproduct of the phosphate fertilizer industry and its safety has been a subject of ongoing debate. Interestingly, there's a surprising lack of robust randomized control trials demonstrating the long-term benefits and safety of water fluoridation. And there's a huge meta-analysis that showed that stopping fluoride did not increase the risk of cavities. I personally choose to filter fluoride from my water, both drinking and shower water, because I believe that it's essential to minimize exposure to things that can potentially have issues, especially if they may not have added benefits. So what can you do to protect your oral health and banish plaque for good? Hydroxyapatite has been an ingredient that I have been loving. It's an ingredient that I talk a lot about with my dentist friends. It's a natural mineral in teeth and bones, and when added to toothpaste, it can help remineralize enamel and reduce sensitivity. So it offers a safer alternative to fluoride. There are several brands out there that offer hydroxyapatite rich toothpaste, and that provides an effective way to strengthen teeth and improve oral health. So two of my favorites, including one that I use all the time, are linked below. This is not a sponsored post, by the way. Second, focus on restoring balance to your oral microbiome. So think probiotics, not just for your gut, but also for your mouth. So fermented foods like sauerkraut, kimchi, and kefir are excellent sources of beneficial bacteria. Also, picking a gum that contains xylitol can potentially be helpful. So xylitol is a natural sugar that bad bacteria can't metabolize, so it actually helps reduce plaque formation. These good microbes will compete with the pathogenic ones, restoring balance to your mouth's ecosystem. Studies support the benefit of xylitol and oral health, but more research I do think is still needed. I do have to say, if you're gonna chew gum, 
choose one with the xylitol versus the other like artificial sugars. But remember, a healthy mouth starts with a healthy microbiome. I'm also listing my favorite xylitol gum below. Okay, so ditch the outdated advice and take a holistic approach to your oral health. It's not just about brushing and flossing, it's about nurturing a thriving ecosystem in your mouth. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with anyone who wants a healthier smile. And let me know in the comments what you're doing to improve your oral health. See you next time.